Hey guys, we are going to take our field trip this week to Washington, D.C. So I wanted to show you on a map here that where we live in North Carolina, we will be going to Washington, D.C., which is our country's capital. And I do want you to know this is not where Knight moved. He moved all the way to Washington State, way over there. So we are talking about Washington, D.C. Some of you may have actually been to this place that we're going this week. So I wanted to show you that if we were to drive from our school to this museum, it would take about seven hours and 20 minutes is the estimate that Google Maps is giving. An airplane might take about an hour and 20 minutes to get to Washington, D.C., to this museum. So the museum we are going to today is called the Smithsonian National Muse Museum of Natural History. And this is their website, the website you will be using this week. And I wanted to just show you a couple of the buttons that you will need to be able to complete the task that I'm giving you. So you've got several things that you will notice on the screen. Um, you are welcome to click and do things as you please today so that you can get used to the website. But arrows that are on the floor, you might recognize similar arrows from when we did the aquarium website. So if you click on an arrow like this, it will move you along to other locations in the museum. This map here in the top corner is showing you like an aerial view of the locations of exhibits in the museum. So each of these little dots is an actual exhibit that is in the museum. And also I want you to know that there is three, there are three floors on the, in this museum. There's the ground floor, the first floor, which you can see that's where we are now with the arrow, and then the second floor of the museum. So you're going to want to know that there are three different levels of this museum. And when you click on them, it changes and shows you. Um, so as you can see here, the ground floor doesn't offer a lot of exhibits to check out. Uh, but the first floor, there's tons of stuff to check out. And then the second floor, you've got other exhibits as well. So you can move your finger on the screen. I'm going to actually use this X right here to get rid of the map for a minute. You can use your finger on the screen just like we did last week with the national parks to move around. You could also use your mouse and move the screen like this. You can look up, you can look down, um, you can walk like this to go to other parts of this of the museum. You can also, if I click on first floor or any of the floors, this comes back up, I can click on a dot um, to go somewhere else. And I do also want you to see that these checks are showing places that we've been. So let's say I go to this dot right here. It's going to take me all the way to this dot. This dot, this exhibit is called A Riot of Evolution After a Mass Extinction. So now that I'm looking at an exhibit, I'm going to use these buttons here. So I'm going to use the minus sign to zoom out. I'm clicking a lot to make it go faster. Okay, so you can see that it lets you zoom out and then I'm able to move my screen around a little bit easier. Um, and then you're also going to want to know about the plus, and I bet you know what that probably does, zooms in. So if I'm zooming in, it actually allows me, I'm going to adjust my screen, it allows me to get so close that I can find information, which is really cool. And you're going to want to use that. You're going to want to look for information um, as you go through this website with me this week to check out things. So some of the instructions you'll want to know about are a floor that I might name. I might also name a color. So I might say on the second floor in the brown section, and then I might have you look for a certain exhibit. So if I said second floor, brown section, and I said 
geology, gems, and minerals, earth floor, you would want to find this dot and click it to go straight to this dot, uh, to this area. So this is how you use the website. You're welcome to, you might even find ways to use the website that I haven't discovered. Um, but this is going to be like walking through a museum in Washington, D.C. that there's a very likely chance that Audrey Johnson has been to or other people in our class. But I hope you enjoy learning about parts of history and exploring this museum this week.